Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Kai and surprise surprise I have for you another nail art haul. So I recently placed a couple orders. This one is from Sweetie Nail Supply. This is the Divac New Moon Collection. It was gifted to me. And then I also picked up the Gel and Gel Jinju set. It's from another company that I haven't ordered from before. It's Amazing Nails, but I wanted to try them out. And then I also purchased some items from Sweetie Nail Supply. I got the Mayo Clear Glass Top Gel, the Yoga Mayo Milk Jam, which was finally back in stock, the Vala Toy Gel, and the Jello Jello Edge Gel. So I am going to go through and try all of these for you today. First, we are starting off with the Jello Jello Edge Gel. So I purchased this because I love doing chrome in my designs and I wanted a clear textured gel that I could use for textured chrome art. I normally use the Jinbi Thick, Crazy Thick Top Coat for chrome designs. And while it does work, I was finding that I wanted more of that textured look and the Jinbi just wasn't holding the exact amount of texture that I wanted. It self levels really nicely so you can get like really clear, smooth swoops out of it, but I wanted like brush strokes and that sort of thing. So I picked this up. I have actually already opened it because I used it for a design, but it comes in this really nice little tin here. Does not move at all. You can see that I'm turning it completely on its side and the stuff does not budge one inch. It's very, very viscous. So it's very thick, very sturdy. I use my spatula here to kind of show you the overall texture. It almost reminds me of, I would say, slightly looser Vaseline. <laughs> Sorry if that's kind of a weird comparison, but that's, I think, the closest texture I can think of. When I spread it out with my spatula, it stays in the exact shape that I put it in. It retains those grooves, those curves, which is what I really wanted out of a textured gel for chrome. I did another test here trying to create like little peaks in it to see just how stiff it is, just how much it would hold its shape. It does level out slightly, so you can see that the tension allows you to get a little bit of a peak and it does level out just a tiny bit, but I would say this is probably one of the best texture gels that I've used for chrome designs because again, I was trying to use the Jinbi Crazy Thick for textured chrome and it just, it wasn't enough. I have used like a McCart 3D carving gel, but that was a little bit cloudy. So I thought I would give this a try and so far I am really liking it. I do a little test here. I spread it out on just a palette and use my favorite gold chrome. This is the Nail Bio Gold Chrome Powder. And I just test it out. I start with a light layer and I noticed it wasn't giving me the coverage I wanted. So I really rubbed that in there and then went back in, got some more of the chrome powder. And the second time around, I had enough to really cover the area. And that gave me the shine I was looking for. So yeah, you can see here that it is really showing off that texture well, those swirls, the ridges that I created in that texture gel. It was just exactly what I was looking for. So if you are hoping to get that textured look, I definitely recommend this Jello Jello texture gel. There is a McCart, I would say cheap dupe, and it's the 3D carving gel, but that one I will say has like a cloudiness to it. Not that it really matters when you are doing gold chrome over it, but if you do a clear chrome, you might be able to see some of that cloudiness if you're trying to do like an Aurora type chrome. So I would say if you are looking to save up some money and spend it on something that you know will work, will work with clear chromes too, check out this product. Really a big fan. Up next is the Valid Boy Gel, and this was packaged with an item that I actually purchased for an upcoming giveaway. So at my 3000 subscriber mark, I do plan on doing like a Korean nail essentials giveaway with some of my favorite products. So this is the Doi. I don't know if it's pronounced Doi or Doi. I'm really not sure, but it is the brand from Nail Bio on Instagram and she makes some amazing, gorgeous, sheer nude-ish colors. So this is the nudie pink. She has white colors, very light lavender, 
green blue shade. I just love her line of polishes. They are syrups, so they do require layering. Please don't expect like full coverage in one coat, but I am a big fan of the syrup look. I love layering my polishes, so I am in love with this product. I adore it. So I did purchase one to put in a giveaway. That one is one that I already own. That's why I wanted to show you with that one. Here is the Vela Toy Gel. Now I picked this up on recommendation from Hope. I've talked about her before. She is another amazing nail art creator. Go check her out. I will put her channel in the description, but she does a lot of the like Japanese Korean style layered nuanced looks a lot of bright fun colors and some 3d work and she recommended the toy gel i wanted to pick this up because i currently use the yogo clear 3d clay gel and while i do like that um it is slightly softer than i want for some designs so i wanted to see if this one would be a little bit thicker hold its shape a little bit better i did have an awful time trying to open this um it has that like plastic coated tin foil on the top so the plastic separated from the tin foil and then i had to find a way to peel the plastic off it was a nightmare but i did get it in the end and the product's totally fine scoop some out with a palette knife here i am just testing the thickness and this is definitely a thicker gel than the 3d clear clay from yoga mayo they both are going to cure still somewhat soft so it's not that they're under cured it's just that the final product is meant to be a little bit rubbery have a little bit of give so they both cure very similarly but i'll show you here kind of the difference in the consistency that toy gel probably will be good for doing sharper edged things as the yogo clear clay is just a little bit softer it doesn't really hold sharp edges well i would say it's perfect for doing 3d designs where you want a smooth surface because it does self-level slightly if you let it sit long enough so if you're looking to do some design that has lots of smooth surfaces i would recommend the yogo clear clay if you're looking for something that has more sharp edges i would go with the vela toy gel just different uses here I was just showing you uh, the difference in how much these spread out. When I roll them out and apply the same pressure, I'm not pushing down any harder on the bottom one, which is that clear 3D gel. And you can just see that it is slightly more malleable. For a second test here, I'm flattening out a circle of each and just putting a cross in it with my silicone molding tool. And then I'm going to let that sit just to see you know, what happens to each one. You can kind of already tell that the top one, the Vela Toy Gel, is thicker because it's already holding its shape slightly better against the silicone molding tool than the bottom, which is the Yogo Clear 3D Clay. And so I just let that sit while I tried out the Yogo Milk Jam. Now I have been dying to get this for a while. I see a lot of creators on Instagram who do 3D work using this Milk Jam Clay it had always been out of stock when I ordered though, so I was so excited when it was finally back in stock, I had to purchase it. At this point, I have used it quite a few times. This haul was probably from June, I would say, and now we're in August, so I've used it a couple times. Um, I might even be due for another order of it somewhat soon here. The lid of this one came off much easier than the last one. I do appreciate that the packaging for the Yogo Clays is all tin foil, none of the plastic coating, so there's no worry about it separating. And interestingly enough, unlike the Yogo 3D Clear Clay, this one is very thick. I would say it's on par with that Valet Boy Gel, so it is just nice and thick. It holds its shape really well. I assume that has something to do with the fact that it's white versus clear. I think the clear Yogo 3D Clay is maybe a little bit softer due to that nature of it being really crystal clear. I will say it has amazing clarity to it. That's one thing I do like about it. Here, the milky white, the milk jam, again, is closer consistency of the Valet Toy Gel, just thicker. So here I'm doing the same experiment. 
taking a little dot of it, flattening it out, and putting a cross in the center. And then I just let these sit to see what uh, what they look like after a while. It was probably only like a mm, couple minutes, maybe at most five minutes when I got the results. Here I was just flattening out a little air bubble that came in my milk jam. I will say these pots are a little bit bigger than the amount of product that you get, so the pots are not completely full, but they do have that really nice stopper that I appreciate when it comes to the Yogo products. And here are the results of my little experiment, so to speak. So you can see that the one on the bottom has basically smoothed over all of those harsh edges. The indents are not very apparent anymore. Whereas the Milk Jam actually held really well. Granted, I did do that one a little bit later than the others, but yeah, there's a comparison. Up next is the Mayo Glass Top Gel. I had been watching, I think it's Shuni Nails on YouTube. She did a like must-have essential gels and she really recommended the Mayo Glass Top Gel. I do really like the Zombie Top Gel. It is quite thick though, so I was looking for one with a thinner viscosity. This one is on the thin side, which is exactly what I wanted. You can see here that the polish does not necessarily cling to itself when you pull it out of the bottle because it is a Renier top gel. Sometimes I like that. Sometimes I want a thin top gel so I'm not adding a lot of bulk or I don't want to diminish too much a design that's 3D. I don't want to cover up any of the sharp edges, so I'll go for a thinner top gel like this. Here I'm just showing you a comparison between that and the zombie top gel, which I do really like. Again, it is on the thicker side though, so you can see here this one is much more viscous, much thicker, and it will unfortunately cover up some of your 3D texture. If that's something you are looking to retain, I would recommend a just a slightly thinner gel in a really thin coat so yeah that's the comparison between those and here are the fun products so this is the gel and gel jinju collection i have never tried this brand i do really like it so far i saw it's amazing nails hosting a contest for this collection as a prize i entered i did not win but um, one of the Instagram artists I follow who does amazing 3D work, her name is Vivi, I will leave her below as well. She won this collection and did a little swatch of it. And after watching that, I knew I had to have it. Um, so I did go ahead and purchase it on my own. Here are the colors. This is G56. And these are gorgeous duo shift shimmers. This has a nice sky blue base and this really pretty like purpley pink gold orangey duo shift powder in it that's two coats there absolutely stunning these polishes are unlike any other that i've had they're just such fun and bright colors really interesting mixes too like this is a neon purple base i would say with like an orangey pinky shimmer in it in hindsight, I don't think these swatches were the best to use, these flat-backed circle swatches, just because you get the most dimension out of this collection when you're painting on a curved surface. Right now I'm painting on a flat surface, so it's not exactly showing off the duo shift as well as I think it could, but I do show you the final swatches at the end that displays it a little bit better, but yeah. Not the best swatch to use for this but you still get a good idea of each color. That is kind of why I do these swatches, is so that if you are looking to purchase a collection, maybe it will help you get a first-hand account of what these actually look like. This one here was probably my favorite. It's this gorgeous neon pink with a like green yellow duo shift powder in it. Absolutely stunning. I love the contrast in these two colors. They're super fun, super bright. I could see this whole collection being really cool for like, oh, I don't know, an underwater scene with coral reefs, with all the little neon fishes of different colors. So yeah, I would be really interested in maybe trying that idea. We'll see. 
I have a lot in the works, but these polishes were just too pretty to pass up. Here are the first five. I know that the undertones seem fairly similar. It's really like the, the duo ship pigments that are different and really add another element of complexity to these colors. I just, I love them. They're just gorgeous. I'm excited to try their magnetic gels. I do want to order some of those. Leah from Peachy Nail Company recommended the magnetic gels, so I will have to give those a try next time. If you have a favorite collection from Gel & Gel, please let me know what it is down in the comments. I'd love to hear. This color is similar to the one that is my favorite, except for this one is more of a peachy pink and more of a like limey green color. Still really pretty, but I do think the other is my go-to. This is a stunning aqua blue with like a slightly blue-green shifting pigment, a little bit of purple in there too. There are some colors I would say that are maybe slightly repetitive. I don't know if you can buy these individually anywhere, but if you can, you might look into that, get just the ones that you know you'll really like. They're not all the same whatsoever, so it's not like if you get all of them, you'll be disappointed. I definitely wasn't, but if you are on a budget, I understand that these polishes are expensive. So if you can try to find them individually, there might be a couple that you don't need to get just because they are similar to others in the collection. I do have though a discount code for Sweetie Nail Supply. So if you order from Sweetie Nail Supply, you can use code get pressed for 10% off. I really appreciate anyone who does. It does help support me and my channel. I try to keep it 100% with you all though. So even though I do get a discount from Sweetie Nail Supply through my referral code, um, or even though I do earn commission, I try to still be honest about the best use cases for each of the products. I have not received like a bad product per se from Sweetie Nail Supply but they're definitely products that are best used in certain circumstances. And I just like to be able to share that information. They've always encouraged me to review honestly, even if they're sending me things. So I do really like that about the company. And that is the whole collection, the Jinju collection from Gel & Gel. I'm just wiping down the swatches here because I will be putting them on the swatch card. Here are all of the colors together. These are mostly the colors of the pigments. Once we turn them over, you'll get to see kind of the base color and how the pigments and the base color work together, the little glitter particles. I'm just adding my little sticky dots. If you are someone in nail content, you want to start doing swatch videos, definitely save yourself some time. Get these little sticky dots instead of having to like Cut the nano tape into little pieces and stick them on the back of your swatches. I just think it's a great time saver. And ultimately, I don't know that it's more expensive per se. Um, I think you can get them pretty cheaply. Here are all of the colors. Unfortunately, my head did get in the way for the last couple, so I didn't show you the filming of that. But this just creates a gorgeous rainbow of shifting tones and different types of pigments. I, again, am in love with this collection. I think it's so pretty. So much dynamic color shift in each polish. I just, I can't wait to use them. What can I say? They're stunning. I think the first, so 56, 59, and 65 are probably my favorite. 64 is really pretty too with this uh, like aqua shift in it. But yeah, I'm in love with 65, 59, and probably the last one too. These two I would say are probably the most similar, 57 and 58. I would argue you could probably get away with getting one of them if you can find them for individual sale. Same with maybe like G60, G61. They're slightly similar. Peachy with yellowy gold pigments and so Maybe you just go with one of those, but that is up to you. So this is the Devoc New Moon collection. I had been eyeing this since I think 
April or May when it first came out, and I had been trying to avoid buying it. It is a 12 set of magnetic polishes. Sweetie Nail Supply was kind enough to gift it to me to show you all. It does come with this really cool swatch card, but putting it together felt like the scene from The Hangover. I was trying to figure out like how exactly it folded when really I was overthinking it. It was pretty simple once I got it and it comes with little double-sided tape that you can stick on the back of the swatch card. These are the things about Korean gel polish brands that just really kept my attention. It's the little details. The collection does come with a magnet since these are all magnetic gels. All 12 of them have a really interesting duo shift to them. Um, if you notice there's a pattern to this haul, it's that I've been really into like shimmery sparkly gels lately, especially ones with duo shifting pigments with really dynamic colors. And these just, they tickled something in that primal part of my brain that likes shiny sparkly things. Um, so I was super excited to be gifted this collection. I will be doing a full look with these polishes at some point, um, hopefully some point soon here. I did the initial swatches on those little hearts. They were a little bit small though, you couldn't really see the details. So I'm going back in here with my new camera. So if you notice that this footage is much better, it's because I recently upgraded my camera to a new Canon. I had been using my phone to film everything, which I thought looked pretty good, but I wanted to really invest in this channel and invest in content for you all and give you the best possible quality. So I finally got an actual camera to film on. And so far I'm loving the footage. I mean, not to like toot my own horn, but look at how nice the footage looks. I'm just, I'm just so excited for this camera. It makes swatching look so nice and it will get more detail for you all when I'm doing nail art. Sorry for the tangent. I'm just super excited about the camera. Back to these polishes though. Uh, these are the first two colors. I ran out of swatch sticks, so I had to double up on the colors. Um, sorry about that, but I hope that you can still see um, the exact color pigments in each of these polishes because I will say there are some that are slightly repetitive. So again, if you cannot afford the whole collection, if you are not interested in ordering the whole collection, Sweetie Nail Supply actually does supply these individually. They're on their website. You can just search the, uh, the code in the top corner for that specific polish and pick up just the ones that you really like, your favorites. If you buy them as a collection, you do get um, a little bit of a discount though for the whole set. These two are gorgeous, the purple colors. I love them. The one that I show first has a gorgeous like blue shift to it, while the second one is more of a like green. I just, I think these are some of the prettiest cat eye gel polishes that I've ever seen. And this camera, I appreciate, picks up the magnetic particles. So well, you can tell that they are so finely milled. It's not that the polish looks sparkly even, it truly looks shiny. It's almost like a metallic effect with how fine those magnetic particles are. In fact, my camera was having some trouble picking up shine on top of my black gloves. It was almost doing too good of a job at shining because it was coming off as white. You can see that here. So I had to do some color grading. These polishes are pretty subtle in terms of the background color for the magnetic gel. Magnetic gels do tend to be a little bit on the sheer side because they have to allow room for that sparkle to shine through. So these are definitely on that sheer side. They're more of like a syrup jelly base, but they do layer really nicely. Like this is only one coat here and you can layer them up for a deeper color. I like the range of colors in this collection. Um, I think it's really nice to have almost like a cool toned rainbow in a sense. Most of these polishes here are on the cooler tone of the color scale. Even if there are repetitive base colors, 
the duo shifting pigments in there the like aurora pigments are different enough that each polish i will say is unique so i'm really excited to have the whole collection i'm envisioning some sort of celestial nail set something with lots of stars maybe a galaxy in pastel colors that is something I will work on and hopefully have out for you here soon. I just, I love watching these particles magnetize because the effect is so strong with these. So good. Honestly, some of the best magnetic gels I have owned. I really love them. I would just wear these colors, all of them on my nails as is. Just a simple magnetic gels. I think they're that pretty. Here's another pink one. Even though this collection has quite a few pink shades, all of them again have a different like duo shifting uh, shimmer in it. So it makes the polishes look different enough. The last one was pink. This one's also pink, but you can tell clearly which one's which because one has more of a purple shimmer, while this one is more of like a peachy green duo shifting shimmer. Again, just a really nice collection as a whole. I like all of the polishes, but you could potentially just pick out your favorites. That is the nice thing about Sweetie Nail Supply is they do offer the Divac individuals. Divac is honestly becoming one of my favorite brands very quickly. I just love the collections that they come out with. I also have the Once in a Summer 2 collection. I do plan on doing another haul um, because Sweetie Nail Supply just had two weeks ago from me recording this a, uh, a fall sale. Did I pick up more polishes? Things to try? Absolutely. Did I need to? Definitely not. So I will have another haul here coming somewhat soon. I don't know when exactly I'll be putting it out. I am back in school now. I teach high school. Um, so I'm trying to get out at least once a video. Once a video one video a week for you all i don't know if i'll be able to stick to that schedule that's the goal right now i have a lot of old haul footage that i need to get through and then i will get back to doing nail designs i have a bunch of really cool fall halloween themed nail designs that i want to try christinia neri i think is how you say it christinia neri she made these amazing 3d clays that I also need to swatch for you all and show you how I use, but she is holding a Halloween nail art competition. I am so excited for it. I will put the information in the link below if you want to participate or just follow along with the entries. I will definitely be doing hopefully a couple entries just because I love Halloween. I love 3D nail art. And so I want to challenge myself, see what I can come up with. But yeah, I appreciate you all being on this journey with me i hope you don't mind um, a couple haul videos in the meantime while i work on getting some designs back up for you i'm hoping next week's video i can make a design we'll see i am working on some projects behind the scenes some things that i can't exactly talk about at the moment um but they are exciting to me they are nail related eventually i hope to one day talk about it share it but for now I am doing some stuff on the side that is just taking up some time along with school. So I hope you don't mind a couple haul videos and I hope they're helpful. I started doing haul videos honestly because whenever I go to buy a collection, I want to know what it actually looks like when somebody's trying it out. So hopefully seeing these two collections helps you all out so you can see the colors more closely. Please check out Sweetie Nail Supply and It's Amazing Nails. If you do purchase from Sweetie Nail Supply, I'm always super grateful and thankful to people who use my code. It is get pressed for 10% off. I do get a commission from it, which allows me to continue doing videos like this for everybody. I'm so, so grateful to everybody who already does use my code. Um, you honestly don't know how much it helps. I am really appreciative of Sweetie Nail Supply for working with smaller creators like myself and just in general having really good customer service. I was a customer long before I had the honor of becoming a BA. So let me know down in the comments below if you have a favorite polish from either collection or if you have a suggestion 
for more collections to try from gel and gel especially their magnetic gels i'm really curious about those thank you so much again everyone for being here i do really appreciate you just watching and hanging out with me i hope you have a wonderful morning evening afternoon wherever you are and i will see you all next time bye